Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a standard user into administrator in Windows 10, 8 or 7 and how to enable or disable the integrated administrator's account. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Right after installation of an operating system, the first user account you create has administrator rights, and any other accounts you create later will have standard user rights. If you need to assign administrator rights to a standard user account, I'll show you several methods of doing it. To make a user become an administrator in Windows 10, go to Settings – Accounts – Family and other people. In this section, Click on the user account you want to assign such rights to and select Change account type. In the window that opens, select Administrator and click OK. And that's all. Next time you sign in, this user will have administrator rights. The following methods will work with Windows 10 and earlier Windows operating systems, and they involve the control panel. Open it by selecting the line in the Start menu or typing in the search field. Then select User accounts. Manage another account. Then select the one you need and in the windows that open, click on Change the account type. Check the administrator option and confirm your action by clicking on Change account type. After the changes are saved, the selected user will be given administrator rights. Another way to do it is by using the local users and groups utility. To use it, open the Run window by pressing Windows plus R key shortcut and enter lusermanager.msc. In the window that opens, go to the Users folder and double-click on the one you need. Here, click on the tab Member of and select Add. In this line, type Administrators and click OK. Then select Users from the list and click Remove, then OK. At the next sign-in, this user will have corresponding rights. Another one-step way is using the command prompt. Launch the command prompt as administrator and type net users. You will see the list of all accounts. Now remember the exact name of the user account you want to give administrator rights to and type the command net local group administrators test user slash add. The username in my case is test user and press enter. Then type the command net local group users test user slash delete and again the name of the user whom you want to assign administrator rights. After that, the user will be added to the list of administrators and removed from the list of standard users. In some builds, the terms to use will be administrators and users. If the username is made up of several words, put it into parentheses. All the methods I have shown you require that you have administrator rights for the account from which you are going to perform all of those actions. And if you need to do it from the account having no administrator rights, the task becomes more difficult. You will either have to reset the password for the administrator's account, and you can watch one of our videos to see how to do it properly. Find the link in the description. And then sign in as administrator and use one of the methods I have shown before. Or you can watch that video until the stage when the command prompt is launched and use the methods with the command prompt which I mentioned before. Windows operating systems also feature an integrated or built-in administrator's account. To enable it, launch the command prompt as administrator and type the following command net user administrator slash active column yes and press enter. After you do it, the administrator's account will be enabled. To disable it, just change yes to no. net user administrator slash active column no. 
There are cases when there are no, when there are no other accounts, and this account is the only one. The reason why users want to disable it is that it shows a notification. This app can't open, it can't be opened using the built-in administrator account, sign in with a different account, and try again. In this case, try creating a new account with administrator rights. Watch another video about adding an account, and the link is below this video. And then disable the integrated account. But remember that if you work in this account for a long time, when you disable it in all documents, photos, and videos located in the system folders of this user, will become unavailable. So copy them to another place before you start. Create a new account, assign administrator rights to it, and sign in again. After these steps, you'll be able to use your operating system without any limitations. And that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.